Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In the in this video, we are going to discuss the most important Selenium and the Java interview question regarding automation testing. So let's begin. The first question is different between the string and the string buffer. So uh, we will see this question answer. First, we will see uh, what is string and a, a string buffer. So consider. Uh, you have a notebook and a, a whiteboard. String is a like e string is like a notebook. Means once you write a something in the notebook, you cannot erase or change it. So if you want to add a something new, we need to take a new page. Uh, consider here page is a, a new object, and the string buffer is like a whiteboard. Means we can erase and rewrite on it as many times as we want without needing a new board. Means there is a uh, no need to create a new object. Means uh, we can erase or rewrite. Means we can create as many as object uh, as you as we want, like this. Now we see like string is like a notebook. Means uh, once you write something in it, so we cannot erase uh, or change it. And the string buffer is like whiteboard. Means we can erase and rewrite on it as many times as we want. Now we see the difference between the string and the string buffer. So, uh, uh, in Java, string is a immutable, which means once we create a string, we cannot change it. In the concept of string buffer, string buffer is a mutable, so we can modify it without creating a new object. Uh, like means string is a notebook, and where uh, where you want to create, erase, or rewrite. But string buffer is a whiteboard where you can modify the text easily. In this example, uh, in the first examples, which is in which is in the string means uh, when we write str equal to str plus word, that time uh, we will create a new object. Means when we print this statement, so we will get a new object that is hello world. But in the concept of the string buffer, when we append a word to the uh, hello world, means it in, it modifies the same object. Means when we we'll print this line, we will uh, we will get a same object, not a different object like this. So if the interviewer asks when to use string and when to use string buffer, so uh, we have to tell them like uh, if the string is not changing, that time we will use the string. But if we need to modify the string frequently, like in the loops, that time we use the string buffer. So. So here one question is formed that uh, what is the string builder and the string buffer? So string builder is similar to the string buffer, but string builder is not trace safe and fast and faster than the uh, string buffer. So we will say that is string is not trace safe. String buffer is a trace safe. And the memory wise, string is a high memory use, and in the string buffer there is a low memory use. Uh, uh, speed wise string is a slow and the string buffer is a fast in this way we have to explain this question that different between the string and the string buffer now moving to the next question and the next question is different between the private public and the protected access modifier uh, so uh, imagine you have a house uh, one house is a private means it uh, it is only for a family one house is public means which is open for the everyone and one house is a protected means which is open for friends and family. So in the private house, only family member can enter. Means uh, family member can enter means within the same class. And uh, in the public house, anyone can enter means which is accessible from the anywhere. And in protected class, family plus friends can enter means same package plus subclass. Means protected <coughs> is accessible within the same package and the subclass. So uh, this is a real time example. If the interviewer asks real time example for the private, public and protected, you can give this example. So now how to explain this answer in the interview. So basically first we have to uh, define the access modifier in simple word like in Java access modifier define where we can access the variable method or the class. Then there are the three main types like private, public and the protected. So private is a uh, so in the uh, private access modifier means we can access it 
uh, within a same class. Public access modifier means anyone can access it. And the protected access modifier means we can access it within the same package uh, and the sub package. Subclass, sorry, subclass can access it. So, uh, in this way, we have to explain the difference between private, public, and the protected. So, uh, in this example, this class, there is a class house, and there is a string, uh, uh, sorry, there is a three variable like private string bedroom, public string park, and the protected string family. So, here, private means only this class can use the uh, bedroom, public means anyone can access this part and a protected allow access within the same package or the subclass. So, uh, when to, if the interviewer asks when to use private, public and a protected access modifier. So, use private when you don't want to others to access it. Use public when you want it accessible from the anyway. And use protected access modifier when it should be limited to subclass or the same package. So, in this way, we have to explain these questions answer. I hope you guys you understand this question answer uh, guys I have made a one notes which contain the selenium interview question uh, manual testing interview question and the Java interview question these notes contain 2000 plus interview question for the selenium Java and the manual testing I have gathered this question from the different platform like LinkedIn telegram groups whatsapp group and ha I have tried to provide each answer to uh, in the with the real time examples and the uh, syntax of the code. So if you want these notes, I am giving its link in the description box and the comment box. Go through this link and share your feedback about these notes. So moving to the next question, explain the uh, collection framework hierarchy. So we will see this question. Also. Uh, Collection framework means uh, first we will see the example like uh, Java collections means is a big school where student means data are stored in the different way. The collection framework is like organizing system that help us to manage the student efficiently. Here we are uh, consider the collection framework as a big school. So so in the there is a in the collection framework there is a first we will see it's a component like in the collection framework hierarchy there is a three interface like list set and the queue and there is a different classes that implement this interface like list class uh, in the list interface uh, there is a classes like array list link list vector and the stack and the set interface contains has set link has set class tree set class and the queue set inter uh, queue, set, queue interface contains priority queue and the link list class so uh, this is the collection hierarchy so here the collection is a main feature consider here collection is a main feature means that the big umbrella under which all collection come and the interface like list set and the queue this is the different department like list is a computer science department set is the electronic department and the queue is the IT department and the classes like array list link list and the vector is a, a different sections like uh, section A, section B, section C, like means actual implementation that follow interface uh, interface rule. Like collection is a big umbrella which are which all collections comes under this collection uh, collection interface. Then there is the interface like list set Q means here define the rule of the different types of the collection. And the classes means actual implementation happens here. Like the main interface collection means like a teacher that set rule the all collections. Under collection, there is a interface like list interface, set interface, and the queue interface. So, this interface means it stores the thing in order, like roll number 1, roll number 2, roll number 3. And the set means no duplicate allow, like student ID. Means no st uh, du one student ID is not allotted to the different students. So, there is not a, dupli a duplicacy in the set interface. And the queue means first in, first out, like lunch, lunch line. Consider it a lunch line. I hope guys you are understanding this question. So different interface like list is a order inter, uh, order uh, list like order is and the allow duplicates. Set interface means it is a an order and a no duplicate content in the set. And the queue is a first in first out like lunch queue. Classes like in the list is the array list link list and the vector 
is considered as a roll number has set link has set and the three sets considered as a student id means it is a unique no duplicate record found here and the priority queue and the linked list is a lunch line means first in and the first out so now the question is how to explain this question in the interview so the java collection framework provide a set of the classes and the interfaces to steward the manipulate the group of the object efficiently so list is a order collections and the duplicates uh, duplicate allowed here set is like student id means here is a unique uh, is a set contain only unique value and the queue is a first in first out like so use uh, use array list if you if you need a fast searching use linked list if we have to add and remove the element frequently and we use has set if we need a unique value and we use priority key if we need the element sorted automatically so basically the collection framework help us steward and the manage data efficiently using list set and the queue interface and each of them have a different tenancy uh, sorry different implementation based on this the classes in this way we have to explain this uh, inter interview question in the interview <clears throat> now going to the next question so next question is uh, different between the hash table and the hash set so uh, hash table and hash set i know uh, i know guys uh, so you are all know the definition of hash table and hash set here we are uh, using the no method uh, i am using the no method of the teaching slide uh, i am giving the year the real world example uh, by this you uh, um, by using these techniques you uh, you will know the real meaning of the uh, question with the help of the real world example so the this question is different between the hash table and the hash set so uh, imagine you have a school locker system where the students store their bag so hash table is like a locker with a key and the bag means key value pair hash table contain the key value pairs so we are consider the hash table is like locker with a key and the bag so every bag has a specific locker number so means key every bag here bag is a value and the locker number is a key so every bag has a specific locker number no duplicate no locker number but duplicate bag are allowed means here uh, locker number will not be duplicated but uh, we can keep our duplicate bag in the our in this locker so because hash set contain hash table contain the key value pair and in hash table no duplicate keys allow but we can uh, that we can uh, store the duplicate value now in the hash set hash set is like a list of unique roll number so every student must have a unique roll number means no duplicate here allow so no key value no, here no key, key value pair just unique value stored in the random order so how to answer this question in the interview like both hash table and the hash set are the hashing to store the data but there is a different purpose like hash table store the key value pair while hash set store only unique value so here we have to give the real world example like hash table is like a school locker system where we every student get a locker and to store a bag and the hash set is just like a st uh, student roll number means where each roll number has with a unique key like this so here i am giving up one uh, table which uh, contain the difference between the hash table and the hash set here hash table stored a key value pair where hash set stored only the unique value and uh, uh, about duplicates hash table uh, does not allow the key du duplicate key but it allow the duplicate value and the in hash in hash set do no duplicate hello about the thread set concept hash table is a thread set means it is a synchronized hash set is not synchronized and it is not thread set a uh, hash table does not maintain any order also hash set does not maintain any uh, hash set also does not mean does not maintain any order uh, uses wise uh, we use hash table when we need to store the key value pair like a uh, this consider dictionary or the school locker system and we use hash set when we uh, need a collections of the unique value means uh, we stored only the unique value in the hash set so in this way we have to explain this question uh, that is different between hash table and hash set now moving to the next question and the next question is different between the comparable and the comparative so 
uh, in the comparable and the comparator uh, comparator interface uh, i will give a one exa a one real time example like imagine you are in the school competitions where student are ranked based on the different criteria so comparable interface means is a self sorting student means each student know how to compare themselves with other and the comparator means external judge means a judge come in and compare student differently based on the different group like this so comparable interface means each student know how to compare themselves with other like example i will always rank myself based on my mark and the comparator interface means a judge come in and compare the student different uh, differently based on the different group like let me rank student by marks or maybe by age or height like this so uh, how to explain this question in the interview for i will show the uh, difference table uh, like <clears throat> comparable interface defined inside the class and the comparator interface is uh, declared inside the outside the class in comparable method like we use method compare to method and the comparator means we use a method compare so in the sorting area there is a only one rule in while using comparable interface and comparator interface have a multiple rule so uh, we can modify the class which implement the comparable interface and we uh, cannot modify the class which uh, implement the comparator interface and uh, we use the collection dot sort method in the comparable uh, with the parameter list and we uh, here we use comparable dot sort uh, comparable dot sort method with the parameter list at the comparator so Uh, in the interview we have to explain this question like uh, comparable both comparable and the comparator are used for sorting object in a java comparable allows object to compare themselves using a single store single sorting rule and the comparator provide the external way to compare object using a multiple sorting rule so after that we have to do the real world example for comparable and the comparator like comparable means each student rank themselves and the comparator means a judge can come and uh, they will decide the rank uh, on the basis of marks age or height so uh, in this way we have to explain this question in the interview so one question is from that we use the comparable when object should always be sorted in one way and we use the comparator interface when we need to uh, when we need a multiple sorting option like sorting by mark age or height now moving to the next question and the next question is explain explain the exception hierarchy so uh, first we see what is exception 